Fractions. When the whole or the entire portion is divided equally, we can write the required portion in a form called fraction. Maria loves eating cakes. She bakes a cake every day. On different days, she cuts the cake into different number of pieces. On day one, she cuts two equal pieces. On day two, she cuts three equal pieces. On day three, she cuts four equal pieces. Let us calculate how much each piece is of the whole. Two equal parts of the cake. One half of the whole. Three equal parts of the cake. One third of the whole. Four equal parts of the cake. One fourth of the whole. One half, one third, and one fourth are fractions. If she cuts the cake into five pieces and she eats three pieces, we can say she ate three parts. The total number of parts is five. Fraction of a collection of objects. This is a collection of twelve leaves. It is divided into three equal parts. Each part is one third of the whole collection. There are four leaves in each part. That is, one collection of twelve leaves is four leaves. Thus, one by three of twelve is equal to four. Fraction on the number line. We can represent fractions on the number line as shown. The line segment AB is divided into three equal parts. AC is equal to 1 by 3. CD is equal to 1 by 3. DB is equal to 1 by 3. AC is 1 out of 3 equal parts. So C is marked as 1 by 3. AD is 2 out of 3 equal parts. So D is marked as 2 by 3. AB is 3 out of 3 equal parts. So B is marked as 3 by 3 equal to 1.